and be with you uh, with an artist that is based in uh, Germany, but is she is an African, but I shouldn't be the one talking when the horse is around. Ladies and gentlemen, we join <laughs> we join by Nomina. I normally call her Nomina Music. Yeah, Nomina, you live on i Five Radio. Talk to us. Show today. Mm. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was I was playing your song Call Me 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 t- something like that. How they pronounce it? Um Call Me Mia. Mm, call me call Mia. Mia. Uh why do you like yeah, the song? It means like um mm. <laughs> it means like come with me, you know, mm. in English. So it, 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 it is in German, mm. you know, the title. Mm. So yeah. so it uh why yeah. do you like where do you derive the story from? Um, the story of Come With Me, I mean in the song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, um, Come With Me, it was just like, you know, like when you have a, a, a distance love, you know, like it, it came out also from my time when I wrote this song. Mm. It was during the, you know, the, the COVID time when I was, you know, getting there. So it was like uh, that time was when I was missing my family and friends and they didn't see. Mm. And I, was, I just wrote the song based on that. Like, you know, um, sometimes you can have a relationship that is like distant, you mm. know, because at that time also it could be that you are maybe having a partner and it's very far and you can't be together due to troubles and everything. So mm. that's how basically this song. Um, yeah, came about. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, people would yeah. love to know who is uh, Nomina or Motai. You introduce yourself. Why are you so scared? A Ugandan and East Africa, Africa at large want to know who Nomina is. <laughs> I love East Africa. I wish I could come there one day. Yeah, well, um, I, my name is Nomina. I'm an artist. Mm. I am um, I'm based in Germany, um, mm. but I come from Southern Africa. I think you listen, I'm an African, you know, because I feel like sometimes we, yeah, this nationality, I'm from here, I'm from there, well, <laughs> yes. So basically, I'm a singer, so I have, a, yeah, I have produced um, yeah, a lot of songs. I, so, I, yeah, are you working on movies? Yeah. Are you working on movies as well? Um, I was. I think that's something I'm looking into in the future. Mm. But now I've been really concentrating mostly in song productions mm. and writing songs. Also, um, doing some collaborations with other artists. You know, so yeah, I still have um, really much um, big projects mm. which are coming along the way. So I'm excited about them. Mm. And yeah, it's always nice when you see your baby out there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I will always ask you. I will always ask you. Are you yeah. single? <laughs> Am I what? Are you single? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah, you know what? You remind me of that song of Jamie Alexander. We have some uh, big man, big men in. In Uganda, and of course, they they looking for uh, somebody they can connect with. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. A woman like me who is always like on the road, like traveling a lot and everything, it's not uh, it's not that easy. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm not so if you really want to a relationship, you need somebody who is stable mm. and understanding all these things. It's mm. not an easy thing to have a, a lady who is stable and understands all the run. Mm. But if the love is bigger, then it works out. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, repeatedly, people would love yeah. to know when uh, Nomina started this uh, project of uh, music, and of course, when did you uh, w- w- when did you hit the studio? Uh, like people would love um, to know. Uh, yeah, I mean, I really uh, used to do music right away, you know, from childhood up to now. Mm. Um, I inspired by my mother love music mm. but, so it's like I was doing it also in church choirs or at school choirs that's like everybody else mm. um, but really for me getting professional where I really started music professional mm. that was um, 20, 2000 2006 mm-hmm. was it wait 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 no that's a lie <laughs> 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 go on <laughs> including my first single Mama Name which was a remix you know, yeah. of the Boy Chaka Chaka song mm. um, 
motherling. So it was released um, 2016, mm. and then followed my, you know, so that I wrote myself, mm. which was um, Don't Cry Africa, and then many other songs year after year. Yeah, oh. So 2015 is where we recorded. Have you worked like a backup artist, like uh, working in like a, in a band, uh, like a live band, like being a backup artist? Have you ever done it? Uh, yes, I have. I have. I worked, like me in Germany, I did work with a few bands. Mm. And I did, of course, the the, the, the but it was mostly records. Mm. So I always had my parts to play. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, I, 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 I did, but... Uh, for me, it was clear that I wasn't really the best person. I, 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 not that I'm not a team player, but I just felt like I had more to give. Like I, I needed more freedom, you know, mm, to do mm, what I feel like. Mm. Um, yeah, the being creative also, you know, without mm. somebody telling me, oh, we have to do this, oh, we have to do that. I just wanted to have this freedom. Oh, I understand, I understand. You know, the biggest challenge yeah. uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Africa is... Uh, to make uh, the headlines, like to make a breakthrough. Uh, I saw you having uh, having a song with one of the big artists in the world. That is Sean <laughs> Kingston. And I was like, my girl, how did you get up uh, to the biggest heights? I was like, oh my God, how, 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 how did it even start? Who connected it's you? We, <laughs> Ugandans are looking for these connections. Share with us. How how did it start even? Yeah, it, it's really cool. I mean, like it's something really I've been so kind of really excited about because um, it's been a process for me to get there. I wouldn't lie. Mm. I started this thing long time ago, but then also I was really searching for uh, people that I feel like I also like their music. You know, I always loved Sean Kingston's music, mm. and I was like. Yeah, so I, I was, it was through my agency actually that I'm working with. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. I was like, I need a, um, you know, a, a collab, and then we we're looking into who and how. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, it came um, to Sean Kingston. And then they sent my music also at the trees management, and then they listened to the songs. They're like, okay, we think it fits well, why not? So that's how it happened. And I think also it's just when people see also how consistent you are. You know, if you keep on doing what you love, really, without 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 no giving up. Yeah. Mm. 